Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at uh, the implementation detail of HashMap and TreeMap in Java. So, uh, the details and definitions of uh, HashMaps and TreeMaps in Java, they are inside a package named utils.hashmap uh, and utils.treemap. So, in order to execute our code today we are going to import java.utils and everything okay at first we are going to create a hash map so in order to create a hash map you have to understand that hash map is a class and we have to create an object of hash map class so we have to call a uh, HashMap constructor in order to create the HashMap type of uh, in order to create an object of HashMap class. So HashMap, and we're going to name our object as my map new HashMap. So this is our constructor, and if you if you just execute this line of code, then this is fine. This is going to create your map which is uh, named my map. But the rule of thumb is that when you're going to create a hash map or tree map in Java, you should provide the, the generics. The de generics are actually the types of objects that your keys and values inside your hash map uh, are going to contain. So we are assuming in this uh, example that our keys will be string objects and our values will be double objects so we are putting two generics here as well string and double so viewers uh, these these two entries inside these brackets they are called generics so if you execute this this line of code then you'll create a map called my map which is actually a hash map object so now we are going to populate our hash map in order to populate your hash map you have to use the poop method of your my map object so in put method we have two arguments the first one is key and the second one is value in key we can put the keys and in value we can put the values in our hash map so we know that our key is a string type object so we can use a and we know that our value in the hash map is actually a double type object so we can use 10.2 again if you if you run this this line of code up to this point then the code will run, run fine. There is nothing wrong here. But the thing is that you have to remember that in your hash map, all you have is object. There is uh, no space of value there. But even if this code, this piece of code is running okay, you this is a good practice and uh, this should be done by you that you, you use the Java wrapper class in order to convert this 10.2 to a double object so we can use a java wrapper class here to convert 10.2 from a double value to a double type of an object so we are going to create we, we are going to put three more values in our hash map let's change these values these keys and these values so almost 0.78 and 20.5 that's fine and we can run this piece of code and now at this stage my map has three entries a 10.2 b 0.78 and c 20.5 now we are going to show the keys and the values of my map so at first we are going to show the keys in order to show the keys, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have a loop here, for loop, for example. And 
I will I will take the whole key set here A B C and I will put them into a string type and type of an object string type object so we're going to use a for loop here string str is the container that will contain my maps uh, key sets okay and we can print sorry we can print str and we'll get the keys of our map which are a b and c so if you run this piece of code you can see b c a so from from this output you will be also understanding that hash map is not actually an ordered map because this is not following the order we entered the keys here we entered a b c but this is b c a this is also not ascending or descending this is also not following the ascending or descending order so hash map is not an ordered map so if you want to show the values we're going to use the same technique here we are going to create a double type of object dbl in which we are going to put the values of my map and we can print them in the output screen and we'll get the values associated with the keys okay fine now what what we've done so far is we have shown the keys and the values individually but what if you want to show them show the keys and the corresponding value in one line one single line so in order to do that what we need is we need another data structure of Java collection framework called set and in that set we are going to put the keys or key set of our map so we're going to create a set here my set and in my set uh, we are going to insert the my maps key set okay fine and this is also good practice that the key sets are all string right so we put a generic here that uh, my set is going to be a string okay this is not mandatory but it's good practice okay now that we have the key sets here of my map they're all inside a set called my set so a b and c they're all inside a set fine now we have to iterate over my set so to do that we have to create a iterator type object itr and we're going to set the iterator to my set because we're going to iterate over my set and we're going to find the keys and values from there so now in this piece of code so far what I've done is that we have set an iterator itr to my set and my set is actually having the keys of our hash map so in order to get the keys and the values from our hash map we have to iterate to our hash map so how we can do that we can use a while loop here and we will say run iterator itr over my set unless we have some something left so this will this will read all the elements of our hash map and if iterator has something in its next then what we can do is we can put uh, what iterator is having next to a string called mm, keys okay so itr dot next so iterator is going to pass its next key to a string called keys so if we print uh, 
these keys then this is going to be our first key and we're going to have a space here and we can say that we need to know the value of that key okay and this this method here this is going to give us the value associated with that key okay so at the first iterate we have b here and this map will give us uh, this method here will give us a value of 0.78 so in the next iteration we have c here and we have the value here 20.5 okay and this will go on okay so what exception we are having here we have to cast it to a string because you know that our hash map contains only objects and the key is actually a string type object so when we are going to put this thing into keys we have to cast it to string otherwise the value is coming only okay now if you run this piece of code you'll have b.78 C 20.5 and A 10.2. So now, if you want to summarize this, you, we have created a hash map here. We populated the hash map. We showed the keys. We showed its values, and therefore we understood that hash map is not actually an ordered map. So in this piece of code, what I've done is we sorted the hash map by iterating over a set which is actually containing the keys of our hash map so you can omit every bit of code here by using a different data structure instead of hash map called tree map so all you need to do is you have to create a tree map object and that's it so if you run this piece of code you can see that from the very first output our output is ordered so tree map with a key difference to a hash map is an ordered map from the beginning you don't have to order tree map from the very beginning it's ordered but the problem is that tree map is computationally expensive than hash map so this is always recommended that you use a hash map if you want to create a map then use hash map and even if you sort them sort the hash map it will be computationally less expensive if you compare the computational expense of tree map i hope that helps you thank you and have a good night